Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today I'm going to be playing a game uh, that I played before on the channel, but this is the new DLC for The Case of the Golden Idol. Uh, so this is the Lemurian Vampire, which will continue the uh, the tale of the Golden Idol, and um, yeah, present us with a few new mysteries to, to discover and uh, learn all about. Now, um, I say new, it, it came out a while ago, I've kind of been, I did buy it when it came out, I've just kind of been waiting for an opportunity to play it on the channel, um, but seeing as the game I had planned to play <laughs> through uh, late February has been uh, delayed by a couple of weeks, it seems like a good opportunity to start working through some of these games that have been on my to-do list for quite some time. So, let's jump into Lemurian Vampires. We have three scenes to, to work through, so we've got this one first of all, let's do this. The enigmatic exploration in a harmonious island commune. Okay. So what have we got? Have we got um? Let's see if we go up here. Okay. So we have. That's where we are now. I think. Oh, that's like an interesting, interesting place. I'm not. I'm not sure what this is. looks like maybe different time periods? Ah, oh, okay, well, uh, let's start off back here where we where we just were. Let's have a little work through this. So what have we got over here? Uh, well, it's a crashed ship for sure. Um, what's going on with this guy? My father is dead, Jayan. Click on Jayan. I am the last of the Gamini family. Now you serve only me as my royal blade master. You must address me as Raja. Okay, so who's this is possibly Jayan? My prince, you're alive. It is thanks to Karma that we have evaded death and been brought to the same beach, and he's got a letter. Jayan. So this this dude appears to be Jayan. I entrust you with guarding and ensuring the safety of the Lemurian priest's son, Zubiri Kera. It's probably this guy then. The old priest shared with me secrets of the Fountain of Youth, but I suspect he may have disclosed more valuable information to his son. So if you, if hopefully you watched the, the previous DLC series where, um, where we encountered the Raja and the priest and the, them sort of discussing the Fountain of Youth, which um, as we know, uh, this golden idol can sort of keep people young. Um, I suspect, uh, yeah, so. Him. It doesn't look quite... The hair looks quite different, but that is him. Uh, and then we've got this guy. Please do not harm us. We barely survived the storm. We are unarmed and come in peace. So he's got a bit of a diary. A diary. January 10th, 1741. It is day 55 of my imprisonment. We have been at sea for two weeks, and apparently Monkey Paw Island is within reach. Today the Blade Master G... Uh, this could be short for g -Ann, ...played some Pajak with me and shared his stories of conquest... There is something noble about this man. Uh, then we've got January 11th, 1741. It is day 56 of my imprisonment. We were on course to arrive at the island tomorrow. However, a storm is brewing, so I expect we will be delayed a day or two. Tissa continues to promise me riches in exchange, in exchange for secrets pertaining to the Fountain of Youth. Uh, so does, the, does this letter mention the son's name? Safety of the Lemurian priest's son, Zabiri. And what did he say again? So who's Tissa? Hmm. Okay, well let's have a little look at this. Because have we got to... There are people to be discovered. Oh. Oh, okay, so this, uh, we think, is uh, Jayan. Oh. Jayan G, I think. Because um, people refer... Because the, the letter to him was addressed to Jayan, whereas he was talking about G, so I think that's Jayan G. Uh, he's the last of the Gamini family, we know that. So I think he's... Uh, Tissa Gamini? Hang on. He's going to be the priest's son. Well, we know he's Gamini. 
Imagine if it's his diary, he's talking about Tissa. So that's probably Tissa Gamini. Uh, Zubiri Kera, we know from the letter, is his name. Uh, okay, so let's let's leave it at that for now. How do I go back? Oh. Let's look at these guys next. Who are you? Why have you come to our peaceful island? A big wooden staff. Have you forgotten about the importance of sharing? These poor souls have barely survived their ordeal in the storm. We should, we should welcome them to our village, feed them and tend to their wounds. Um, I'm going to guess that doesn't go swimmingly. Uh, but I think that's it for the scene. So if we go back up and we'll choose like the next... I don't think we can choose another hot spot here. But let's sort of move on to the next scene. Let's come down to here. So we can flip between a couple of sides here. Let's start on this one. Uh, ooh, here yeah, we've got a little hut here. Let's start in here. Might as well. Uh, Valley Commune Laws. Big decisions are voted on by the whole commune. Smaller decisions are decided or voted on by the council members. If the council vote is tied, whoever is available from the commune joins the vote. Council responsibilities. Guardian of males represents and cares for the males of the commune. So likewise with the guardian of the females. Guardian of agriculture is responsible for farm work and food allocation. Guardian of children is responsible for health and education of all young. So we've probably got to work out who, which one is which. Um, so let's talk to this guy. I agree with Lavu and vote against as well. We have enough disruption from the people who washed up on shore. We do not need more change. I have enough on my plate with all these newcomers being my responsibility. I am glad that Suttle agreed with me. No good ever comes from pointless tinkering. We should focus on the stability of our commune and leave things that work well alone. Children in the commune. So she's probably the children's uh, guardian. Uh, she's got one one-year-old, three three-year-olds, two five-year-olds, and six older than nine. Okay, so we go back to here. I think I don't, are we going to have to come up with her name? Quite possibly. Ah, ah. Okay, we are <laughs> we are going to need their actual names. But she is the guardian of children. I think we can be quite sure. We got here. Stop complaining, Virilis. I have more people to take care of than you, and I manage it just fine. All right. If this is the result of the vote, I will stop my experiments with the yam. So he's agriculture, which means he's male and she's female. But I still believe I could get something tasty and new in a couple of generations, which would increase the variety in our food. Now, can we talk about the issue of the lazy newcomer? Okay, so we do have a couple of names here. We've got... Um, Levu, Sutul, and Virilis. So let's again... Oh, well, what's this? Year 324. 18 males, 25 females, 12 children. Does that tally with this? It does. Okay. It's in here. All right, so this is like they're voted yay or nay. So we have... Oh. KS. KZ. We've got LM could be Lavu, SV could be well, VM could be Virilis. Well, it looks like they're all in the know, the ones we know. Lavu, no, Lavu, yeah, Sutil and Virilis, we think. So, what again? What were they saying? I agree with Lavu and vote against as well. I'm glad that Sutil agreed with me. Stop complaining, Virilis. I have more people to take care of you. I agree with Lavu and vote against. I'm glad so she's Lavu. Sut Lavu Suttle. Why does she say I've got more people to take care of? The oh, okay, this is probably the clue, isn't it? Yeah, so Suttle, no, Virilis is, it must be him. Suttle. Maybe she's Suttle. So she's just referring to the votes, I think. 
And he's saying as well. Okay. Okay, so let's um, let's start putting some of these on. So we think he's Virlis. Uh, we think she's Lavu. And they must be subtle. Um, let's just check that again. So I agree this. Yes, 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 yes. Virlis, and then he agrees with Lavu. Yes. Okay, good. And we don't know this guy yet. All right. Well, let's leave this little room for now. Uh, talk to this dude. Thank you for your kind words, but it was a short vote. Sometimes they do bicker, but only because they have the best interests of our commune at heart. So he might have voted. Sometimes I think that Kula votes against Momgo just to spite him. They really shouldn't drag you into every small decision. They should be trying to reduce your stress. So I think he voted. But I don't think he's Kulu or Kula. Um, but if we go, if we go back into this room, Mongo, ah, so we have two M, so they could be either. So that, that doesn't clear that up right now. Just to spite him. Okay, so that implies that, that the M is a him, which should be, should be this guy. I think he's Mongo, because that's, L is a she. So let's say that he's Virilis Momgo, and we're fairly sure uh, that he is the guardian of males. Let's just do this as we go along. There we go. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh. Should be an easier way to get back to this. Uh, and then there probably is. All right, so they've got this guy, Jayan. Yes, I did as Virilis asked and brought the repair materials to Vato's dwelling. But tell me, are these are those really rubies and sapphires and golden coins that the children are playing with? Oh, <laughs> that might not bode well. Um, and brought the repair materials to Vato's dwelling. Again, let's look at these names. So Vato could be this person. Uh, well, maybe we'll pop that in for now. Uh, Sutil Vato. And she's the guardian of females, so let's just, again, bring that up there. Oh, <laughs> I've taken it out of this. Let's not do that. Let's do it from here. Okay. Oh, here we go. That's better. All right, so here's this. Uh, you mean these shiny bits and pieces? They're scattered around everywhere. Matter taught us that the children can play with these trinkets as long as they are big enough... So the children cannot choke on them. Okay, so we have Mata. Sounds like she's probably Lavu Mata. We know it's LM. So Lavu Mata is the guardian of children. Uh, what about this guy? Even the senior villagers have to work for their food despite their age, but I haven't seen that old man do anything useful around here. Is he sick? Oh yeah, he's the Raja. What about the kids? You don't need to know how to read, silly. Just look at the pictures. They all make sense. Auntie isn't scary compared to Sterner. Sterner told my mum off yesterday and my mum cried. Community from Sentinel Tower Lemurian Vanishes. Alright, so what about this? Why would I stop playing? I have to practice our history tiles or Auntie Lavu won't, won't be happy with me. I wish I knew how to read so I could order them by their names. We'll just add all those. Sterner. Well, let's go back. Who could be Sterner? I reckon he's KS then. I reckon he's Sterner. And I reckon KZ will be the old man maybe? Who do we think the old man was? Kula. Or Kula Sterner, maybe. Okay, well that yeah, okay, well that's inconclusive then, probably. Um, for the time. Although on this panel, if we're correct, it will tell us. So Kula. Where's Sterner? Did I not get that yet? Ah, there we go. 
So let's have a look. Uh, let's put Sterner in there. And that is in that is incorrect. So I think I don't think he's cooler Sterner then. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure the rest of these are all correct though. All right. Um, so maybe the old man's a cooler Sterner. Um, Guardian of Agriculture. I'm going to assume we don't know him yet. Uh, Say so this guy. Be respectful, Tissa. Okay, so Tissa is the Raja. In time, you'll learn our ways. Can you stop pushing this empty cart around if you do, and do some real work? Zano will not be happy if you continue to shirk your duties and you will not get supper. So yes, yeah, so Zano is the agriculture guy then. Uh, I think that's all for this side. So let's go over here. What have we got? Oh, what's that? Tomorrow your incantation expires, Vato. Okay. What is that scrawled on the wall? Yesterday that wall was clear. Uh, Kruplu. Okay, so that's probably going to be his, well, his first name. It is day 13 on the island. Kruplu was very excited to tell me everything about the purple peas. It is fascinating that with very little tending they provide so much nutrition to everyone in the Valley Commune. I enjoyed chatting with him because people are somewhat secretive here. Day 14 on the island. It amazes me how harmonious and calm life is in the village. Every adult has to work, no matter their lifespan. But it is not arduous. Perhaps this is how life should always be. And his second note. Who are these people? They are Lemurians, but I have not heard their dialect anywhere. Locals are enigmatic about their history, but I overheard a child chanting. Here we go. The exodus came first, then finding of a cursed, last tragedy dispersed. Alright, so we've got... That's probably related to these, I imagine. Uh, what about this person? Once you have lived here long enough, you will understand. Sorry, I have to run. Kula gave me a lot of tasks today. I'd better not cross her. Okay, that's another clue for that. But I think we'd already worked out uh, she was the guardian of females. Uh, now, if I click on this side, is it just the same? It is. Okay, so let's... Um, I think we've got all the identities now. So we're going to have Kruplu Zano. That should be correct. Okay. I'm pretty sh I mean, I'm pretty sure on that, too. Anyone that could be wrong, maybe these names are the wrong way round. No, so that was correct before. Um... We know, well, we know these names the right way round anyway because of the, the letters. All right, well, let's try this one over here because that'll tell us kind of if we're wrong or right on that one. Ruplu Zano. No. Okay, so it's the guardians who seem to be the wrong way round. Okay. Why do we switch these around? No. I'm pretty sure on this guy, I thought she was right as well. well. Let's go back to their room then. Oh wait, he's cooler. No, he's not cooler. He can't be. All right. Um, so is he cooler?
So that would imply that one's correct. Um, these could be the wrong way around. No. So I agree with Lavu and vote against. I'm glad that Suttle agreed with me. Stop complaining, Veerless. So she's not Veerless. I'm sure he's Veerless. We should him. Where did I get Vito from? Wait, what if I swap? No, because she's not going to be... Hmm. Ah, subtle. I agree with Lavu. Maybe she's Lavu. Have another look. Have another look. I agree with v Lavu and vote against as well. I'm glad that Suttle agreed with me. Stop complaining, Veerless. Back down. <laughs> Auntie isn't really scary compared to Sterner. Still, Sterner told my mum off yesterday and she cried. Cooler votes against Mongo. Auntie Lavu. I think she has to be Lavu. Okay, let's just put them in as we're pretty as we're certain of them. Uh, yeah, he's just uh, Sano will not be happy if you continue to shirk your duties. Stop pushing this empty cart around and do some real work. And I assume Zano must be the agriculture guy, but maybe he's not. Maybe he's the guardian of men. 
Yes, I did as Virilis asked and brought the repair materials to Vito's dwelling. Matter taught us that the children can play with these trinkets. That's why I thought Lavu Matter. I, I'm still thinking that's correct. Uh, Zano. So if we're thinking Zano is the guardian of men. These three agreed. I think Zano's got to be the agriculture guy. Kruplu seemed to be correct because it changed when I, when I put in the other one. I mean, I'm going to be putting back the same ones, I think. Zana always votes against Mongo. Well, unless that's no, because it's SV, isn't it? All right, let's. Oh yeah, she's definitely she's definitely not Verlus. He's Verlus. VM, and she's got to be Sato Vater. Or Satul. Vito. And she's Sterner. Ooh. KS. Maybe. Oh, hang on. Subtle. Subtle's the, the guy, isn't he? he? That must be him. That must be. Hang on. What, is she, what did this one say about Kula? Kula votes against Mongo. Okay, so. So he's he must be Kula. Um. Really? Okay, well, the old man must be cooler then. And I think he's cooler... Uh, KS. I think he's KS. So I think he's cooler Satul. And I think she's sterner. Um, they could be swapped? No. Oh, <laughs> he's definitely not cooler. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, Auntie Lavu. Okay, I'm pretty sure Lavu. Auntie's not prepared. Sterner told my mum off yesterday. My mum cried. Yes, I'm pretty sure that's that is Sterner. Matter.
Wait. Hang on. The old man has to be one of these. Because he'd have only been brought in to decide the vote, which means they were tied. So he must be Satul. Satul SB Vito. There we go. Okay, so I think we can add these now to this. We're pretty sure on this. So she's cooler. So she's KS. Uh, LM. VM. And KZ. Sweet. Okay. Something something went to the something and spoke the... I think that's incantation. Do I have incantation? Oh, yeah. I uh, will have to go back to that scene and, and have a look at that because I, I didn't take it in what it was saying. Incantation expires Veto. Okay, well, thanks to this, we know Veto is subtle. Subtle Veto went to the... Is it the tower? Would we call that a tower? Incantation expires, Veto. Uh, if I we come up here, it could be a could be that tower. Doesn't look. It looks like a low building to me, though. Um, scrolled on the wall. Wall's not highlighted, though. Okay, well, it's not community from Sentinel. Tower could be. Brute discovers protection. Dweller. Well, it's got to be tower. That's the only thing that makes sense. And spoke the incant... Oh. Maybe it just went to the community. And spoke the incantation. Because according to the local tradition, whenever the... Something endangers the something... The something goes and something the something to the something until the next time. Right. Okay. Uh, we might need to expand this. What do I do? Do I... Okay. So... We need to get the order... Right. The Exodus came first, then finding of a cursed, last tragedy dispersed. The finding came f the Exodus no sorry, the Exodus came first. Uh how about Brute vanishes Lemurian ancestors? Uh, so what did it say? Then the finding of a cursed. Uh, Finding the accursed. Dweller. Finding the accursed. How about... Uh, I think this one is Sentinel discovers community protection. So I think they find this thing, he discovers this magic helmet that 
sends that thing back to where it came from. Dweller emerges from tower. That's right, isn't it? Dweller emerges from tower. Okay. So this might throw some light onto this one then. Uh, Subtle Vita went to the community and spoke the incantation because according to local tradition, whenever the uh, dweller endangers the uh, community, the sentinel goes and discovers the protection to the... Oh, no. Goes and banishes the dweller to the tower until the next time. After the incantation was spoken, the something something was activated. The lifespan death? What? The what other brown what other brown words have we got? Death's lifespan? I might be. There might be some I'm missing. Was lifespan death was activated to reduce lifespan, and who died? You know what? We've actually got a whole scene that I haven't even done yet. I've just I've just remembered. So let's come out of here. Um, I won't take those things out, but we need to go to here. Because here's stuff we haven't got yet. Uh, I don't think there's anything to click on on this part. <laughs> okay. Oh, he... Nagagabrengadbol Bazaar. Ah! Person is not breathing. That's his incantation. Oh, hello. Who are you? Golden Idol. Ooh, I think, I think we've got what we need then. After the incantation was spoken, the Golden Idol was activated to... probably increase lifespan, and then we'll say that Subtle died. Subtle... Ooh. To reduce lifespan? Uh, the dweller endangers the community. The sentinel goes and banishes the dweller to the tower. Until the next time. Went to the community and... Sp this could be wrong. So I don't think so, because then there'd be more than two incorrect. Tower? Ah. The scroll has been fulfilled. No hints accessed. Subtle Vito was the designated sentinel for the Monkey Paw Island community. When the time came, in accordance with local tradition, he took up his armour and set forth to the tower. There he met his demise when the golden idol was used on him to reduce his lifespan. There we go. So, that was the first uh, scene for the Lemurian Vampire DLC. So we'll just have a little revision of what happens. So, um, we could probably collapse that. Yeah, so he went to the tower and spoke the incantation because according to local tradition, whenever the dweller endangers the community, the sentinel goes and banishes the dweller to the tower until the next time. Now, I don't know why they thought that was happening. That remind me what they said. Tomorrow your incantation expires, Veto. So they're kind of reminding me he needs to hurry up. What's going on here? Trying to reduce your stress. 
Okay. Um, after the incantation was spoken, the golden idol was activated to reduce lifespan, and Sittal Vito died. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, we did it. So let's just um, go back to the choosing screen. Cool. What's what's this? Sutil lived like a sentinel and died like a true sentinel. Now I must ask, who is ready to take his place? This is my chance, I must. As the only royal present, it is clear that I should take the title of sentinel. Dun 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 dun. So I guess we'll find out next time what's gonna <laughs> what's gonna happen to him. Uh, but thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this uh, first part of the Lemurian Vampire DLC for the Curse of the Golden Idol. Um, yeah. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, if you could hit the thumbs up button, if you could uh, leave a comment, let me know what you thought about uh, our solution. And uh, I mean, it probably took me a bit longer to, to get there than it should have done, but um, hopefully that wasn't too frustrating. But let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it and, and that'd be good. And if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel, it'd be amazing if you could do so. So thanks very much and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.